video, you are going to see how to separate plant big pigments using column chromatography. So column chromatography based on the principle of partition and distribution of compounds between stationary and mobile phase. So in a basic level laboratory, we need certain materials to perform these experiments. First is a leaf sample where you're going to isolate methanol, benzene, alumina, distilled water, cotton, funnel, sand. We need a pillar, test tubes, rods, burette, burette stand, test tube stand, mortar and pestle. These are all our requirements. So, extraction of pigments, let's see. So, it's a wave 5 gram of leaf sample. Cut the leaf into small pieces. Grind them thoroughly in a mortar and pestle. Thoroughly. Mix it with distilled water. And grind them thoroughly. into a fine paste. So, solvent, we are using methanol and benzene, the ratio 2 is to 1. One methanol, a strong polar solvent, benzene, a non-polar solvent. In the Grind them and make it a fine paste. Filter them in a sieve using a sieve. So take the column, place the cotton inside the burette, the column, then fi fine sand is placed using a funnel right into the column. Now the stationary phase, which either can be alumina or silica, which is made with an appropriate concentration of solvent and poured into the from using funnel into the column and leave them for a few minutes such that they can settle down. Then gradually discard the upper liquid. Adjust the stop core clearly. Now this Add sample using a pillar into the column containing the stationary face.
further adds fine sand on top of it. Again, the, the gel, the silica gel or alumina gel onto the top of it. So just a stopper. So you can see fine bands developing as the solute or the compounds move towards through the stationary phase. Distinct band can be visible, which can be eluted, allocated in different test tubes or any sample collector. So you can see distinct fractions separated based on pond polarity. So the solubility, the solvent depends upon the solubility of the sample and the separation depends upon their affinity of the compounds as well. So we can see different compounds being separated. So the chief constituents of plant leaves like chlorophylls, xanthophylls, and 